this morning I thought I would do a follow along because next week I'm going to release my follow along membership site and so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a taste of this week um, as to what the follow alongs would be like. They will be very similar to the ones I did at the beginning of lockdown um, which was like a month or 41 sessions of basically follow along sessions so they're a mixture of like handstand, flexibility, um, stretch which is like flexibility, like I guess a bit more extreme flexibility, so working towards splits and core and also strength work. So there'd be a variety, everything is geared towards handstands and also flexibility and improving those areas. Um, also, if you guys like request any specific follow alongs, then obviously I'm happy to do those, but they will be for my members as of next week. That will be starting, which is so super exciting. Anyway. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get into the follow along. The first set of exercises we're going to do are caterpillar walks with a press up at the bottom or if you can't do a full press up, a press up on the knees and then walking the hands into the feet, keeping the legs straight and then the arms coming up and then the second exercise we're going to do is a posterior pelvic position. So we're starting on a flat position on the floor, so it's a pine alignment, back is pressed down to the ground, and then we're lifting up into a hollow hold and then back down. So lifting up, we're getting that posterior pelvic tilt and back down. So they're the first two exercises we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing six of the caterpillar walk press ups. Let's make a start and press up one. Hands coming into the feet, legs staying as straight as you can, arms coming up, and then into the next one. So full plank, press up, hands into the feet, arms coming up, two. Press up, hands into the feet, keeping the legs straight, arms up, three. Three more, pressing up, and arms up, four. Last two. Five, and final one. So make sure you've got a solid plank position, press up hands into the feet, six, and then coming down to the ground. Laying flat on your back, back should be pressed against the ground, feet together, and then up into the posterior tilt, two. And we've got six of these, three, four. Make sure the lower back is on the ground, five, last one, six, and relax. So that's set one. We've got three sets in total of these. Grab a quick drink if you need to and pause the video if you need to take that time in between each set. I would suggest taking max 30 seconds. So next set, press up, hands coming into the feet, arms up, one. Nice plank position, straight body position, arms up, two. Three. Plank position into the press up, four, two more, five, and last one, six, arms up, and then onto our backs for the pelvic tilt. Nice position to start off with, and up into that hollow, one, two. Three, four, five, and last some, six, and relax coming out of that position. You can do one more set as an option if you want to, but it's not necessary. The next exercises we're going to move on to are tuck jumps. So this is where the hips are coming over the shoulders and we're getting that nice stacked position that we need for handstand. So I'm just demoing. If you can't do that at all, you know you're new to handstands, then what I'm going to suggest doing is you're going to do shoulder taps in plank position, trying to keep the body position as straight as possible and trying not to wobble from side to side. So you're really focusing on engaging the core. In between, we're going to do glute bridges. So you've got two options. You can either do a double leg glute bridge, which is going to be the easier option. Or if you want to, you can do a single leg glute bridge and you're going to do 10 on each leg. If you're doing the double leg glute bridges, you'll do 20 in total. 
So with the tuck jumps, we're going to do six. If you're doing the shoulder taps, just keep going the whole time we're doing tuck jumps. One, so you're trying to get the hips stacked over the shoulders. Two, strong upper body position. Three, four, two more. Five, try and find that balance for a second if you can. And six, well done guys. And then onto your back for the glute bridges. One, two, so either single or double leg. Three, four, squeezing the glutes at the top. Five, these are controlled movements. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change size if you're doing single. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Again, grab a quick drink if you need one. Take 30 seconds or into the next set. So, one, jumping the hips over the shoulders, two, three, four, five, last one, six, and then straight back into the glute bridges. Laying on your back, lifting, one, two, so squeezing the glutes at the top, three, four, five, try and keep the hips square, seven, eight, nine, ten, chain sides, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And we've got one more set of these, so again, pause the video, grab a tr quick drink, and then straight back into the last set. Hips over the shoulders, one. Try and find that balance point, two. Remember, shoulder taps if you can't do these, three. Four, two more. Five, six. Well done, guys. Really good. And onto your back, the glute bridges. Last set, double or single leg. One, two. Control it, it's not a race. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax, come in that position. So next we're going to move into an L-shaped shrug. So we're coming into an L-shape, hands are coming into the feet, and you're either holding that position, or if you're more advanced you can do the shrugs, so you're pushing up for the shoulders, and then back down. Make sure you're keeping your arms straight in that position. We're gonna do 10 reps in total, and then in between we're gonna do tricep dips, so hands facing towards the body on the box, elbows are bending, body's coming down to the ground, and we've got 10 of those as well. So let's make a start. Feet on the box, hands coming into the box, pushing up for the shoulders, and 10 shrugs. Two, three. If you can't do the shrugs, just hold this position. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming down again, that position is really working on stacking the hips over the shoulders. Then into the tricep dips, hands facing towards the body, elbows are going backwards, bottoms coming down to the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten, coming out of that position, take 30 seconds and into the next set, hands into the feet, pushing up for the shoulders and ten, one, two, three, you almost want to push the armpits back to the wall behind you, seven, eight, nine, ten, and walking forwards out of that position, nice and controlled, straight back into the dips, hands facing towards the body, 
hips lifted and then dropping the bottom down to the ground. Elbows going backwards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming out and we've got one more. So again, take 30 seconds if you need a little bit of time, pause the video and then we get ready for our last set. Feet on the box, plank position to begin with. Hands coming into the feet. You should feel a bit of a stretch behind the hamstrings and into the 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and walking forwards, plank position, coming out into the last set of the dips. Hands facing towards the body, feet coming forwards, elbows going backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and relax. Next we're moving on to handstands, so first coming into a chest wall handstand, again we're going to do shrugs in this position. So if you can do a nice chest wall handstand, then you're just going to retract and, and elevate through the shoulders, and we're going to do 10 repetitions. If you can't hold a chest wall handstand, then I want you to just hold a normal plank. If you don't want to do the shrugs because you're new to handstands, just hold a chest wall handstand, so three different variations. Let's get into the first set, walking the hands towards the wall, pushing up for the shoulders again, head looking to the wall and to the shrugs. Four, five, squeeze the glutes, feet together, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're controlling the walk forwards, keeping that nice body position coming down, and in between what we're going to do is oblique crunches. So we're coming onto our side and our legs are either going to be straight or bent, depending on how competent you are, and you're just gonna lift little crunches in the obliques. So we're gonna do 15 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then changing sides. Just make sure you're not going forwards or backwards in these. You should be exactly straight to the wall above you. Two, three, Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then we are going back into our chest or handstand. So pushing up for the shoulders, engage the core, and ten shrugs. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten control the movement coming out of it and then back into our side dips so onto your side and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and change sides One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and coming out of that position, we've got one more. So if you need to pause the video, that's fine. Last one, walking the hands into the, the wall, pushing up for the shoulders, legs should be together, head to the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming out of it, and then into our last set of side dips, and we just got a couple more exercises to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then changing to the other side, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15 and relax. Now we're going to move on to our last couple of core exercises. So the first thing we're starting with is a press up. So it's either a V press up, which is the hardest option, a normal press up, which is the medium option, or a press up on the knees, which is the easiest option. Then after that, we're going to go into back extensions. So lifting up the chest and the feet as high as you can. You're squeezing the lumbar spine. And lastly, we're going into hollow rocks. So onto your back and then the feet are lifting, the arms are staying by the ears and we're just doing little rocks. If you can't do a hollow rock, then you're going to do single leg lowers instead because they are quite advanced hollow rocks. So you've got three different exercises, two sets to finish off today's session. Starting off with the press ups. So V, normal or on the knees, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming down into the back extensions onto your front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then into the hollow rocks or leg lowers. If you're doing the leg lowers, then just do them the whole time we're doing the hollow rocks. We've got 15, 1, 2, little movements, 3, 4, 5, 6, don't let the back arch, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and into another set, say so press ups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, coming onto your front, the back extensions, 15, 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and finally into our last set of hollow rocks or your leg lowers. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and relax. Hope you guys enjoyed that follow along, and I will see you for my next video. Um, as I said, my membership site will be launched next week, and I'll probably post something like the end of this week so you can sign up if you're interested in joining and everyone is going to be getting like super flexible and the hand are going to be getting amazing together and um, so i'll be posting like four to five days follow-alongs a week and yeah they will be a mixture of handstand flexibility related um, follow-along sessions so if you're obviously staying for the long run you are going to improve and i know people who did my 41 days before if you haven't already done that definitely do it um they they said they felt a lot more flexible and a lot stronger um which is amazing so i hope you have a lovely day and see you for my next video